Good morning, Faith City Church. Pastor Ben here with another Still Small Monday. I hope you have your coffee with you uh, and can get some nice quiet time this morning. And today we're going to be looking at a practice called the Ignatian Prayer or Ignatian Contemplation. And though it sounds fancy, uh, it's actually a really simple and creative, fun way to engage with Scripture and uh, to, to listen for what God might be telling you in your life. And so this practice, you pick a brief uh, passage of Scripture. Normally, I've heard it recommended to pick a gospel passage with Jesus in it. And you read through the passage once, and maybe a second time if you want to get some more information And then you close your eyes and you imagine the scene. You close your eyes and you imagine everything around you using your five senses. What do you see? What's it smell like? Uh, What are people saying around you? One passage that I've done before uh, with this is the passage where the paralytic gets uh, let down through the roof. And uh, it's a really fun one to do because I imagine myself kind of standing in the crowd, like on the, maybe I'm just barely in the doorway of this house crammed in there. And then someone comes in from the roof. And so you just imagine the whole scene. And then what you do is you take some time to, to imagine that the crowd disperses or imagine you get a moment uh, to talk with some people around you. Maybe you get a moment to talk with Jesus. What might Jesus be saying to you? What would you like to say to him? How would you uh, engage with him? And that's the whole practice. You imagine the scene. You use your senses around you. You you observe and it, it makes the scripture come to life. And then you spend some time speaking with Jesus. But speaking has two sides, right? When you talk with someone, it's talking and it's listening. What would you say to Jesus and what might he be saying to you? Take some time uh, to, to reflect on what you said and what you feel like Jesus is saying. Let it sit and bask that day and use this practice for a few days in a row and see how it might inform what God might be telling you to do. Thanks so much for being with us this week. We're excited for this series to continue. Uh, Please let us know in the comments below if uh, this is something you've been engaging with or you have any questions about doing this. We'll also have a few uh, passages, gospel passages posted that um, might be good starting points for this prayer practice specifically. And uh, have a great week. Looking forward to many more.